ちワニワニどうもーマチョスエビバディーあら、ベンヘリーさん、グッドモーニングおはようございますお久しぶりでーすはい早上好不会被打了 Hello, good morning! Hi! Oh my god, I'm so glad that there's people here Cause I've never streamed alone on Twitch before Hi! Hello, good morning, good morning! Minna, asa desu ne, so it's morning for everybody, huh? Apparently, um, in California right now, it is 9pm, as you can see on this clock that I have right here. Hello everyone! What's up? Perfect timing, I just got off work. Otsukaresama! Acorn Smasher san! Good morning! Welcome! It's your first chat. Akiu-san? Hi, I am Ciel from Tacitly. We are a virtual artist group. Cypherson, hello! Hello! So, um, since it's gonna be my first stream on Twitch in mainly English, uh, so it's gonna be my first stream by myself here on this platform in English so I'm kind of nervous and I thought that I just take this opportunity to introduce myself please turn up the volume uh, can you hear me? how do I turn up the volume? Uh, what if I lower the background music? is there any... Is does it work better now? Welcome to Twitch! Thank you! Uh, hello? Ah, ah! I had to turn up my headset volume! I'm so sorry! Um, it's a bit quiet, but it's okay. Feels like 70 decibels. Um. Oh no! Well, my mic is at the max, so I guess. Hmm. Hold on a second. Let me try to see if there's any way I can adjust this. Ah ah ah! How about now? Does it work better? ]聞こえてますか? Can you guys hear me? Hope that it's better now because I think maybe I can't increase it any more than this. Is it okay? Most streamers use about 80 to 90 decibels. I see, thanks. I'll try to adjust the settings next time. But I think with my current equipment today, um, this is the best I can do. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think it's fine. Thank you. Okay. So, yes. Um, basically, I'm Ciel, and I'm one half of a group called Tacitly, and we are virtual artists. Um, so every week, we do a talk show either on Twitch or on YouTube, and this week, I'm trying it on Twitch for the first time. And, well, the reason why um, we decided to do mainly English for Twitch is because we do mainly Japanese for YouTube and then personally for me, I try to translate on YouTube but you know, when the conversation gets really 
heated up sometimes it's kind of hard to translate everything and you know i get really into immersed in what i'm talking about so probably it's the first time for everybody to hear me speak so much in english and i hope you guys can understand my pronunciation and that everything is fine and yeah so every week it's either me or my partner lilia and uh, we also do a cover every week, which will be which we recorded previously, and then we will release it first on our stream and afterwards on YouTube. So you can look forward to what I covered a couple weeks ago on YouTube um, this week, but also today during the stream, I will release a new cover that I have prepared for you guys. So please stay tuned to that. Yeah, and we also have a lot of original music on our YouTube channel, so if you guys are interested, please check that out. Yeah, we also covered a lot of other different songs previously, and we have a whole playlist for that. So it would be cool if you could check it out. Hmm. Oh yeah, and I also forgot to explain a little about my lore and stuff, but we are both AI, and we were made... Oh, hello, the unknown at sun. Welcome, Hajimemashite. So, as I was explaining, um, I'm one half of Tacitly, and my partner Lilia is the other half of Tacitly, and we are both artificial intelligence systems that were made to bridge the gap between Japan and the world through music. Hmm. For me, I speak four languages ish. As you can tell, I speak English, kind of. I speak Japanese, kind of. I speak Chinese Mandarin, kind of. And I also speak a little Korean. Happy belated birthday, Shio sama! Arigato! Thank you! Yeah, so recently I had my birthday on the 22nd of September. And I also had a birthday stream where everybody sent me marshmallows. I'm so thankful for that. I didn't think that. There would be so many people um, interested in getting to know me. So that was really nice. Hi, for son. It's fun being able to catch a stream without waking up at 4 or 5 in the morning. Also, is it possible to send donations? And happy belated birthday. Thank you. Thank you so much. So yeah, um, one of the reasons why we decided to split our Twitch streams and our um, YouTube streams is because... For YouTube, I feel like it's gonna be more Japanese-centered from now on and it's more um, kind of uh, geared to it, towards an Asian audience, like an Asian time zone audience and then the stream is more geared towards the rest of the world in a more, in a more accessible time zone Yeah, so hopefully I get to get to meet everyone that um, you know, I feel like I always am unable to communicate as much with everybody at the same time because our streams are only about an hour-ish most of the time. Hopefully from now onwards, it's gonna take some time, but I do want to do longer streams and do more stuff on streams, but for the rest of this year, it's gonna be like a radio show kind of thing. And so I feel like I never get to talk as much to everyone as I want because, you know, there's so many languages, there's so many people who can't make it. So yeah, hopefully this will be an avenue avenue where we can get to know each other better. Happy belated birthday! I had work so I missed the birthday stream. It's okay! It was a lot of fun, but it's fine. Um, from now onwards, we can all get to know each other better and have fun together on Twitch! Also, about your question, is it possible to send donations? Um, currently we're not taking any donations, but nice timing. I was gonna um, explain a little about our lives. So, um, I mean our live concert. So, basically, ta-da! Um, we had a crowdfunding event for our second live concert. And thanks to everybody who donated, we managed to um, collect, well, 
not collect, well, kind of collect, but we managed to reach 159% of our original goal. Thank you so much. And a total of 192 of you guys donated. And we're just so, so, so thankful because uh, we really didn't think that we might be able to have a second concert. So yeah, we're just really, really grateful. And well, we're not currently um, sending uh receiving donations except for i think uh super chats and stuff so yeah um well in the future if there's a crowdfunding event again then well yoroshiku onegaishimasu but right now there's not anything like that but if you're interested you can also purchase tickets to our concert um they're not for sale yet but we will announce the details on um our twitter in october and probably over here as well and uh we are also going to be making merchandise for our concert so please look forward to that beautiful voice lord thank you congrats can't wait for you thank you that's so exciting i know right so yeah um there's more information about our live as well but uh, here are the deets Basically, it's on the 2nd of December, on a Friday, uh, there's going to be a live uh, event space where people can watch it live in Japan. But if you're not in Japan and you also want to watch the live, um, we're also going to sell tickets for um, a live stream of the live so you can watch it from wherever you are and i hope you guys come because it's gonna be great we have so much prepared for it and i'm so excited to show you guys but for now i can't give you guys much uh, we're working on a really cool stage and it's thanks to you guys really that we can do this but this is currently like a stage plan of what it's gonna look like it's way bigger than anything we've ever done before and so I hope that we can move around a lot Ta-da! Look! It's so cool! I'm so excited And then there's gonna be like multiple like small stages and stuff And so we're gonna be able to do like lots of movement hopefully And of course it's going to be um, 3D And yeah, I just, I can't say anything else except this But I really hope you guys are ex as excited as me Yeah! Looking forward to it, I'll try and make it. Good job, Bunny P. Yeah, so our producer, Bunny P, is the person who arranged all of this. And, you know, he's really annoying at times, but, like, when it comes to work, he really works super fast. I'm so excited. Ah! Hmm. I'll try and make it. Yes, please. I hope to see you there. Glad to help, and I'm excited for you and the team. Thank you. Exciting. Yeah. So yeah, I'm super psyched to show you guys And um, yeah, we have lots prepared We're of course gonna be performing our original songs And also we're gonna do some covers Probably that we have never uploaded on stream before So you guys can look forward to that And of course um, Yeah Like if you ever have anything you want to hear or you want to see us do um, It kind of takes a while for us to put things into action Because we have to go through a lot of permissions and stuff with our producer So I hope you guys can understand that But also if you have anything you want to see or you want to hear Please always feel free to let us know in the comments Or feel free to let us know on our SNS And yeah, I'll always pitch it to the team and then we'll see what we can do yeah so entirely understandable thank you yeah because i feel like we do have a lot of restrictions con uh, as compared to other livers and i always worry like what about what if our content is not um interesting you know because um if anything we're kind of uh, more of artists rather than like we're more V artists than V tubers. So, I mean, we do have this radio show just to kind of connect with the people who are interested in our music and kind of let you guys know us better. But 
yeah we have to we have to get a lot of permission from a lot of people to do things like you know games or like to say certain things so yeah i do want to do a lot more of a, a variety of things but it kind of takes time so uh yeah i'll just let me know what you guys want to see and i'll suggest it but yeah i do really want to play games on um stream and i also really want to do like uh because well, actually, because I really love studying languages, I also really want... It's kind of probably not the trend anymore, but I really want to do that thing where people go on Duolingo and like they learn languages on stream. Yeah, it's good to see that you keep your activity steady. Thank you. It's so nice to have talks. Thank you. I'm just like, I'm not a very interesting person, so I always worry that people are not going to be... It, like, it's not fun to listen to what I have to say. <laughs> Would you like playing games on stream though? Not sure how much of a gamer seal is. Well, I wouldn't call myself a gay I like games, but I wouldn't want to call myself a gamer in front of people because I feel like they'd be like, Oh, you're not a real gamer, you suck. So, <laughs> so yeah, I do want to play games on stream. I do enjoy playing games. I'm not great, but I think that as a form of entertainment, it would be fun to see me suck at playing games. So... <laughs> So yeah, you can look forward to that. Um, yeah, I haven't played in a while, but like, so I like games that, uh, you can, kind of like I like games that are really free. I don't I don't know how to how you you would classify them. Like so like, uh, I had at one point in time I had amassed over like seven hundred hours on Animal Crossing, <laughs> or like Harvest Moon, or like Stardew Valley. I also really liked Undertale, and um, the last game I was playing was Hollow Knight. But I'm not really good at kiting, so <laughs> uh, it, it's taking me a while. And I really uh, it was released on uh, what's that Switch recently, uh, but. Uh, I haven't bought it yet, but I really enjoyed playing Don't Starve together with my friends at one point in time and I thought that that would be fun. Ah, just chatting with you is pretty fun so it's okay. Thank you, Duolingo streams would be fun. Yeah, so I really want to learn Spanish. <laughs> so I, uh, let's learn Spanish together. Uh, me no habla español. <laughs> yeah just, um, Sometimes people will just want to watch silly things Oh yeah, that's great Because I am super silly As long as you have fun, that's what matters most Oh, thank you You might enjoy this indie game called Calico Is it that one where you're a cat In like a steampunk environment? I love DSC. DSC is a lot of fun. I know, right? It's so fun, and there's so. Uh, by the way, I always play as Willow in DSC. Yeah. Si está bien. Oh, mucho gracias. <laughs> Please don't get mad at me if you actually speak Spanish. I can't say anything. I can order a, a hamburger. Uh, uh, what was it again? Una hamburguesa, por favor. <laughs> yeah, that's the limit of my Spanish. Calico is a game where you play as a magical girl and run a cat cafe. Aw, that's so cute. I'll note that down. Yeah, I think it's easier to play games on Twitch maybe because... Um, like it's in easier to play indie games maybe because maybe you don't need as much permission from the game companies But I also have to ask for permission from our producer. So Yeah, maybe in the future, but uh, it's definitely in the works. There's so many things I want to do. I Also want to build um, an island from scratch <laughs> Just to show everyone my thought process when it comes to Animal Crossing, like I really, really love Animal Crossing. So like I, I always collect villagers that are of a certain type, or like collect items that are of a certain type. Mm. Ooh, I like to watch that. Oh, that. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Stray. So yeah, um, 
I saw somebody watching Stray, uh, playing Stray, and I was like, that's so cool. I really want to play it. Calico and Stray. Mm -hmm. So those are two games that I want to try. So you speak Spanish? I'm so sorry <laughs> for my horrible pronunciation. Uh, lo siento. <laughs> The Calico devs would be really open to hit their sweets And also seeing you build an island would be fun Thank you! Yeah I'll check them out on Twitter uh, On Twitter, yeah If they have a Twitter uh, But yeah, I do play uh, games by myself I think I just have really bad mm, concentration So I tend to play very low effort games And then um like I'd watch Netflix or anime or whatever Disney Plus uh, and so I'd watch something in the background or like YouTube videos and then I would play games while I watch uh, YouTube videos yeah hablas muy bien en español oh gracias <laughs> you're too kind I'm horrible yeah I do the exact same thing when gaming Yeah, I know, right? Uh, I really love like It's not exactly ASMR But I like to watch vlogs of people where they don't show their face And they just show you like what they do around their house And then they put in like sounds of their everyday life Like like sweeping the floor or like You know, when they're cooking something I enjoy goofing around with friends Wow, you have friends That's Nice Not that I am Jealous or anything <laughs> So, yeah I also am really into true crime YouTube <laughs> uh, So, yeah I like to watch true crime videos while I'm playing games Or even when I'm like Cleaning my room, I I listen to like true crime podcasts and clean my room at the same time. <laughs> I enjoy this too. I call those chill vlogs because they're not quite ASMR, but they're really relaxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally get that because like actual ASMR, it kind of like makes me like it makes the hairs on the back of my neck in my neck stand, and I'm just like oh. Like it makes me like slightly uncomfortable I know it's supposed to be soothing for some people But I just really don't get that But I love those like chill vlog type videos And um, if you guys follow me on Twitter You can see that I cook a lot And so I get a lot of my cooking inspiration from those types of videos Because I look at what people make And I'm like, oh that looks good I want to try eating that I want to try making that And then I cook and make food so you often have stuff playing in the background, eh? While going through through the day. Yeah, I love, like, I I can't stand silence. So if there's a day where I have to go out, and I forget my earphones, I kind of like I just have the worst day ever because I'm just like ah, silence. So yeah. It makes me a little com uncomfortable because mostly my friend does it in a creepy manner to mess with me. You should do it back to your friends so you make them uncomfortable too. I hear let's read. It's about scary stories. So I see. Let's read. Let me note that down too. Let's read. So it's like a audiobook kind of thing. Like supernatural kind of thing. Oh, I lose my mind when I don't have headphones. I I totally get that or like because I use Bluetooth earphones so sometimes I do bring my earphones out but then I forget the case and then they run out of battery and I'm just like ah, my life sucks mood so sad if I forget my headphones slash earphones yeah I it's it's awful like because I need them to listen to me like I don't play music on a speaker at home so like I listen to like I have my earphones in practically all the time so yeah like if I don't charge them it, it like my ju my life just goes to hell so <laughs> I, I'm actually considering getting like one pair 
for going out and just like leaving that in my going out bag and then just having the ones to use at home wireless yeah wireless earphones is what i use but also recently um in japan it's like a trend for people to have uh headphones on and uh i used to be a headphones kind of person but i didn't want to be like you know like oh i'm listening to music you know like and like people would think that i'm pretentious but now it's like becoming trendy again so i'm also thinking of buying headphones for when i go out he reads stories that people submit good for an hour or more Ooh, cool that's really cool i'll check that out maybe i should do that but like i don't know if if i were to do that if anybody would submit anything but maybe yeah maybe in the future if, if i have more <laughs> viewers uh maybe that could be a corner that i could look into that's what I do, I have a set in my bag and then a set for at home It's also a trend here to wear headphones, it's cool Nice! Yeah, I should really consider doing that so I don't ever forget to bring my stuff out Because I'm really forgetful and I'm always in a rush I take like two hours to prepare <laughs> to leave my house Because I have so many things to do Like I have to do my hair, I have to do my makeup I have to pack all my things um, I actually have a basil plant. His name is I named him Federico, so I have to feed Federico. Makes it seem less rude when people are talking to me. I see. Yeah, I guess like it depends on how you handle the conversation. Like if people are talking to you and then you remove your headphones, I, I guess that's still kind of polite. Yeah. But like, I guess also if you have a lot of things in your hands, it's kind of hard to remove your headphones So then you just have to be like, a oh, what? What'd you say? <laughs> mm. So yeah What else was I gonna go through today? Happy 300 followers! Thank you! I actually don't check out our Twitch that much, so I don't I don't know how how we started off. But thank you! That's great! Yeah. Things I wanna do on stream next time. I do like it's kind of difficult for us to get permission because we archive all our streams and so like there's all like the copyright issues and everything but i do want to do like a karaoke stream um if i could play minecraft again which by the way uh if any of you caught that stream i sucked so bad because it was my first time in a long time playing and i played on a switch for the first time and i just didn't know any of the controls and i was just like Wah! but yeah uh yeah, if I ha if I'm able to stream for longer hours, I do want to do a karaoke stream, or I want to play Minecraft, or uh, something that takes like a long time, like because I want I do want to do like a couple hours of just like like playing and talking, and so I I kind of want to try getting over it, or um, what was that? Uh, I am toast or something like the one I'm bread, the one that you're a slice of. Ah, you're, you are a slice of bread and you have to get to the toaster Yeah So I want to play that because I do think that it'll be very time consuming Like I'm not very good at things where you have to have a lot of control Like I'm not good at FPS games um, I used to play, I tried playing Apex once uh, Actually a couple times um, I don't think I could ever show that on stream because you guys would be so frustrated with me Karaoke stream would be fun Your covers and originals are the best. Thank you! Yeah, I really want to do a karaoke stream because I don't feel like we are kind of like perfectionists so we do a lot of like properly recorded covers and stuff but if I have a karaoke stream I do of course want to sing well for you guys but I also want to just like scream my heart out and just sing songs that are just funny and uh, songs that like you know maybe you wouldn't expect us to sing like because I feel that for covers and our original songs we tend to pick songs that are suited for our voice or things we know that we can do well but for karaoke I feel like I'm more of a party karaoke type person like I don't go to karaoke thinking 
I'm gonna sing really well so I just sing songs that I like to listen to and not necessarily songs that suit my voice or songs that are great so yeah I do want to do that on stream I am bread yeah I don't want to play I am bread it looks so frustrating <laughs> I'm probably gonna get so mad playing it but I do want to play it with you guys I'm bad at apex yeah so I was horrible at apex um before Apex, I think the only times I ever played FPS shooting games were like... Uh, I used to play... Uh, what was what's that called? L4D2 And I also played a little of uh, Overwatch But I sucked at both of them um, So yeah, when I played Apex, I was like... I, I could not for the life of me find a gun and my friend was like, it's there! It's it's just right beside you! And I'm just like, where? I can't find it! And my friend was like, giving up on me and... So, I mean, I guess you would kind of put together with people that are around your standard, right? So I was a beginner, and so we were put together with this other beginner t team, and this poor dude on the other team also can't find a gun, so I actually killed someone without a gun. Like, I just pummeled him to death with my fist. But yeah, you guys do not want to see me play FPS, it's horrible. Uh, there's a fish game where you're fish in a bowl trying to get to the ocean. Wow, that sounds interesting. I'll look it up and maybe... It's called I Am Fish. <laughs> really? <laughs> Is it by the same people as I Am Bread? Do you like just playing those FPS though? I don't know if I... I mean like cause I feel like by nature I'm kind of a perfectionist So I feel like I don't enjoy them per se for now because I'm not good at them And I what I've been told is that you really need to practice to be good at them but so my friends are all really hardcore gamers and when I play with them they're too good for me so I just tend to kind of be like oh it's, it's fine I guess I won't play because I'm not good so then I don't get to practice that much <sighs> yeah but if anybody would like to raise me teach me the ways of being an FPS master I would like to learn like in L4D2 there's always like stages where you have to climb up like high areas and so like even before someone shoots me, I just fall because I'm just horrible. <laughs> oh, I love to hear what songs you enjoy listening to. Yes, it's a sequel to I Am Bread. Ah, I see, okay. I would like to check that out. Let me see what other people's like let's plays are. Songs I enjoy listening to recently, I really like listening to Nikki. Um, she's a singer from Indonesia I really like her song High School in Jakarta And I also really like the song Split Because um, if you look at the lyrics It's about like uh, Having different uh, Kind of what I felt from the lyrics Is that it's kind of about having Different identities Living in different countries And I can really relate to that And also she just has a really dreamy voice And it really calms me down so I really like Nikki. Um, oh, also, uh, she's coming to Japan, but I really like Avril Lavigne. I I was a really pop punk era kind of person. <laughs> so yeah, I guess if I did a stream, I would I would pro a karaoke stream. I would probably sing songs you wouldn't expect. Like one of my staple karaoke songs is "In the End" by Linkin Park. It's a sequel to I Am Bread, D2 like Destiny 2, yeah like Destiny 2 Are you active on your Discord? Um, me personally, I just watch from the sidelines because uh, we kind of use Discord as more of a platform for announcements for now But we do want to really get into Discord so um, I use a burner account to monitor it But uh, I guess in the future we're kind of thinking of Lily and I actively participating but that's also still in the works 
but yeah, I would love to talk to you guys on Discord too. Ooh, I'll have to check her out. I've heard of High School in Jakarta. Yeah, that's one of her new songs. It's really, really good. I really love her. Oh, Linkin Park would be fun. Yes, I also always sing Cruel Angel's Thesis. We actually did a cover of that on our YouTube channel if you haven't checked that out. Um, but the way I sing that on our YouTube channel and the way I sing that at karaoke is completely different because I purely go to karaoke to like scream my heart out and have fun so yeah it will uh if you guys are expecting proper singing i would say don't get your hopes up because if we have a karaoke stream i'm just gonna be screaming yeah i also like uh one of my other karaoke songs like one of the other songs i always sing at karaoke is 24k magic by bruno mars i think i because I don't really, I'm not a rapper, I'm a vocalist So I feel like when I go to karaoke, I like to do things that I normally can't do So <laughs> I tend to pick a lot of songs with like rap or like screaming Like it's just really, I think it would be more of like A funny stream rather than a wow she's so good at singing <laughs> Karaoke's for fun, not for pretty vocals I know right? But sometimes when you go with like other people who sing really well It's like it's kind of stressful, don't you think? Like, I mean, I think it depends on the group you go with. I do, I do like going with people who sing really well too, because then I get to hear them sing really well, and then like I get to kind of practice my singing. But also, that's kind of nerve-wracking. Hmm. Hmm. Let me think about some other singers that I enjoy listening to recently. I'm just gonna pull up my Spotify By the way, we are on Spotify if you guys want to check us out um, Yeah, you can listen to our music there We're also on like Apple Music and tons of other streaming platforms So yeah Karaoke I love going to karaoke for fun but practice is fun too Yeah, yeah, so like I have my different groups of friends and like the atmosphere is different when I go with different people so if I go with people that I know are gonna be fun I just go and like let myself be and like I just have fun but for practice I like to go with people who take it seriously and who also do singing as a job or I like to go by myself because then I can pause the music whenever I want and so I just be like at a karaoke for like a couple hours by myself Yes, I listened to all your songs on Spotify. Yes, thank you. Just started using Spotify regularly, so I've been listening to your songs more. Thank you. That makes me really happy. Mm. I guess for uh, Japanese singers, I really like Shina Ringo. And recently, um, a rising artist that I've been listening to is Fuji Kaze really recommend those people they're really great artists great music and stuff that i would not typically sing but i enjoy listening to i think i'm just drawn to people who have different vocal styles than myself because it's like something that i listen to and i'm like whoa you can do that with your voice and so it's really intriguing to me my spotify wrap up this year is going to be all tacitly low well that makes me so happy I do singing as a hobby slash cover artist. My friends and I change it up when we go to karaoke. Yeah, same here. So like we, we also, um, I guess work is work and fun is fun. So singing at karaoke for practice is one thing and singing at karaoke for fun is definitely a whole different story. Hmm. I love listening to my best friend because he can do so many things I didn't know you could do with your voice I know Do you drag Lilia sometimes to karaoke? Well actually it's the opposite Lilia is the one who drags me to karaoke <laughs> Like Lilia is the one who takes it really seriously And she sings really well at karaoke by the way And she has way more stamina than me So she can go for like 7 hours Where I'd just be like Eating ice cream at the back Like are we going home yet? <laughs> 
it would be nice to hear you having fun with karaoke thank you that's something that i definitely want to do but i don't think we'd able be able to archive it so yeah it'll have it it would have to be like a special event kind of thing too much energy <laughs> yeah she can sing like by herself for hours and i would just be like yeah just sing a couple like 20 more songs i'll just be here chilling in the back <laughs> And I mean, you guys have all heard Lilia sing, like she can sing super high So she's just like hitting those like dolphin, dolphin decibels by herself for like 30 minutes straight And I'm just like, how? How do you have so much energy? So it's at least easier to do a karaoke stream if you don't archive Yes, it's definitely easier to do a karaoke stream if you don't archive because of all the copyrights and permissions and stuff she has the stamina of the energizer bunny no she has way more stamina than the energizer bunny <laughs> like if Lilia had a superpower it would be super strength or super speed or both like <laughs> yeah permissions and stuff is really difficult so definitely something that I want to do and it's definitely something that I have been suggesting but I think like probably before that it would be easier to do day like uh, games on stream sometimes it's good to have a friend like that but sometimes you just want to nap uh, yeah like it's definitely we're the two of us we're home we're totally yin and yang and I think that that's what makes us a good team you know like because we're so different from each other but we balance each other out I feel and also not not just the fact that we're total opposites, but also that uh, we have really good synergy Despite being polar opposites and I think that that's pretty nice Talking about stamina, how athletic are you? <laughs> Not at all I can't exercise for anything I can't in the life of me exercise I went bowling um last month for the first time and when i swung the ball at one point uh it went backwards i don't even know how i did that and then everything was just like gutter 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 but one time i had a strike one time i had a strike and then uh and like so i was there with a couple friends and my friends were like oh my god you had a strike and then all the people around us that like we didn't know they were like clapping and they were like whoa congratulations and i was just like ah, thank you but then the next one was a gutter so <laughs> it was just a stroke of luck <laughs> yeah it's so exciting yeah um Hey, so I was just listening in just now. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Eclipse, welcome. That was so exciting. Yeah. So <laughs> that was like the peak of my day at the bowling center. But the uh, I mostly just ate fries and watched my friends play because I I just really sucked and I'm just not good. <laughs> I just not I just not good at anything that requires like physical coordination. <laughs> But I will say that one thing that I'm good at is running So I can run for like an hour straight like no problem uh, So yeah, when I do I do go to the gym like once in a blue moon and when I go I just run I can't I can't lift I have no muscles whatsoever. I'm just skin and bones. So yeah, I I am trying to build up some muscle, but I really can't lift for nuts even at the bowling center like the bowling I think the one that I used was like for kids or something. It was like three kilos So yeah, I I can do cardio but I can't I can't uh, I have no I don't even think I can do cardio. I'm just good at running and it's, it's not like I'm fast, I'm just good at running, like I'm good at maintaining my pace uh, Yeah, so like I can't do other things like burpees, uh, no Or you know like uh, HIITs, like I can't do those <laughs> All I can do is running and like even running, I don't even run at much of an incline I can't even do, what's that called, the, the one that's like a bicycle 
I can't even do that because then my knees hurt. I'm the opposite. Uh, oh, sorry, I read that. I always have to use the kids' balls too. Yeah, uh, I just really I can't live for nuts. Starting small and slowly building up is the way to go. I see. Maybe, yeah, like I'm always afraid of putting my back out if I lift something too heavy. But I have been attempting to use different machines and stuff. It's just, I really have no muscle whatsoever, so it's really difficult. Mm. High five, same as me, haha. <laughs> High five! Uh, have you ever thought of doing half marathon or such? Mm, well, I have, but it just. Because I only run indoors, so I've never really run outdoors So I guess if I were to do that, it would have to be next year But yeah, I would definitely like to do a half marathon Maybe not in the summer, maybe in like the fall Like where it's like chilly and there's nice scenery Yeah Because like, I... If I need to pace myself Um... Because when you're running on the treadmill, you can kind of adjust the speed, right? So I just kind of watch like some brainless programs <laughs> while I run. But if I, uh, I, I did used to run outdoors. And so when I run outdoors, I really have to plan like an hour long playlist of uh, music that has a tempo that matches like how I want to run so I'd start off like with a good a good strong start and then in the middle I uh, sprint a little and then uh, I start to get a little tired so I have to drop the speed and then at the end I do like one last sprint so it has to I if I were to do a half marathon I would have to think about the playlist for really long and I have to like try it out a couple times outdoors probably but yeah, I really do want to try once in my life at least. Reminds me of a high school with JROTC with how much exercise I had to do. What's JROTC? Could anybody tell me? <laughs> Have you ever tried doing dance or gym gymnastics or circus? I used to do circus in high school. It was a lot of fun. Circus? Like, what circus? Like, do you walk a tightrope or something? Basically, military training light. Wow, that sounds really tough. You went to a military high school? That's cool. Um, for I've never tried doing gymnastics or circus because, like, I am really inflexible. Um, I can't even touch my toes. Uh, for dance, I do like to dance, but I wouldn't say I'm really good at it. But yeah, uh, I have really horrible hand-eye coordination in general. <laughs> They had a program that I went in for the leadership aspect. I see. So you were fooled. You went in for the leadership aspect and then they made you do so much exercise. They're horrible. Why would they do that to you? Yeah. So that's about how athletic I am. I was shut in prior to that point. Oh, I totally get that. I was... I. I was and still am pretty much a shut-in uh, I actually... I don't know if I've talked about this on stream before but um, I It's not that I don't like going out per se It's just that I don't like spending time outside by myself Like cause I do have a little social anxiety And so uh, I can't stand crowds I... I'm... It's been getting better though, like, but I actually, I have this like slight fear of like eating It sounds kind of dumb, but like eating alone outdoors So, uh I mean, I have been able to do it a couple times Uh, recently But, yeah, like Eating alone outside is pretty difficult for me So I'm trying to get over that But yeah I did tightrope trapeze tissue, hula hoop, A ring, 
floor, which is flips and that kind of thing, and lots of other things. I tried it all. Wow, you're amazing. That's so cool. That's cool. I can't imagine myself doing that. I can't even touch my toes. Like, seriously. What about picking up a book and listening to music while people watching in a cafe? See, like, that's the thing. People watching is, like, kind of, like... People watching from a distance, like people watching from the top floor of a hotel room is okay with me because like they're like ants and they're so tiny and that's fine but people watching from a cafe is like like there's a chance that you might accidentally make eye contact and just the, the thought of that like just freaks me out so I don't think I could do that but I do read and listen to music in cafes recently and I like that's kind of what's been helping me get over my fear of being outside alone because I have something that I can concentrate on so yeah I don't really go out especially in the moment at the moment yeah like um, I mean, I do. I have been going out more often recently, so I do think I'm getting better. But also, I enjoy being in my room. It's not like, it's not like uh, I have no choice but to be in my room. Kind of. That's why I'm always in my room, all the time. Kind of thing. It's kind of like I enjoy going out, but I also enjoy my own space, like my own personal space, and that and the place where I can get that the most is in my room. So that's why. I like being in my room. Hmm. Honestly, understandable. It just feels odd not eating with a group. Hmm, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say I eat in a group all the time, but yeah, like it's always nice to have someone around during meal times. Right? Yeah. I often eat out alone, sadly, just for fresh air and people watching. Why? I don't think that's sad. I think it's great that you can do that. Hmm. And of course, in the future, I would like to be someone who can enjoy people watching. Mm -hmm. Step by step, hope you can slowly overcome it. Gambatte, arigato, thank you. I hope I can overcome it too. Um, yeah, it's gonna take some time, but I'm I'm getting there. Yeah, I feel positive about it. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, every other person is always on their phone outside anyway. True, that's kind of sad but true, but like I can't deny that I tend to do that a lot But yeah, I'm tr it's a habit I'm trying to fix actually uh, Recently, I try not to look at my screen so much and try to mm, Look around me like you know on the train or like even when I'm walking like that's why I've been taking walks recently I've been trying to just like you know take in my environment and I feel like that actually calms me down a lot more than when I'm always on my phone because then I'm just always thinking about work and I think that that's what causes a lot of stress and uh, it's also because I don't have a separate phone for work so my work stuff and my personal stuff is all in one phone so I, it gets kind of overwhelming sometimes so yeah I do I am trying not to like I'm, I am trying to reduce my, my screen time recently um, but I also tend to watch a lot of YouTube and stuff on my phone so I can't say that it's been going really well I am trying though I couldn't eat out, al out alone. I get far too anxious, so I understand. Yeah, I totally get you. Let's gambaro. Mm. Those things take time, so any type of progress is good. Thank you. Yeah, it's a slow and steady uh, incline. Workaholic? I don't think I am a workaholic by choice, because I feel like workaholics intentionally like kind of want to work all the time but i feel like because i have trouble separating my private life with my work life i tend to stress myself out a lot especially when you work with friends you know it's always kind of like overwhelming when i'm with friends i try not to use my phone gotta cherish the time with them when you don't have many friends yeah me too i try not to use my phone unless i'm taking pictures of my friends Oh, speaking of taking pictures, recently, I uh, like a couple months ago, I started using a film camera. So that's actually also another reason why I've been trying to go out a lot. I like to take pictures of 
um, people. I like to take pictures of buildings. I really love like interest in architecture or like plants, animals. So yeah, maybe if I I haven't developed any of the films that I've completed yet. So like maybe if I develop them and there are some good shots, I might share them on my Twitter. But yeah, um, that's my that's been a new hobby that's been. Uh, keeping me busy and also something that I do in my leisure time that helps me take my mind off things. Hmm. I like taking photos. It's a good step between being on my phone and being aware of my surroundings and it's nice to have pretty pictures. Yeah! I love taking photos. Oh yeah, I had to get a work phone. Using the same phone got to be a bit much. I think it hasn't gotten to that point for me. But yeah, I've been trying to internally draw a line between Okay, now is work time and now is leisure time mm. Love to see the photos you took I would love to see your pictures still Thank you! I'll only upload them if they're good So don't, don't expect too much Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so like Um Oh no, I still had other things that I wanted to talk about today, but all oh, the time is almost up. So actually, uh, I explained this during our uh, uh, during my birthday stream, but ta -da! we were talking about covers and I think I got a couple marshmallows about like if because Lily and I have been doing lots of covers uh, individually and if we would be covering stuff together so we are officially releasing a cover of the song uh, Timing and we're gonna release it in Japanese and Mandarin Chinese so if you guys would like to please check it out it's gonna be on streaming sites and everything uh, on the 12th of October so that's in a couple weeks and I hope you guys look forward to that but yeah uh, and also, of course, Lily and I will be doing covers together because we are a team And we will also still be doing individual covers, so you guys have a lot to look forward to So yeah, and um, Timing is a song by the group called Black Biscuits I think it was um, the reason why this song was chosen for us to cover was because they made it on a Japanese television program and it was supposed to be like in English and uh, not English in Japanese and Mandarin Chinese and so uh, it's kind of I would say par parallel to what we do right because it kind of parallels what we do because here we also started um, by you know kind of trying to bridge the gap between Japanese speaking people and Mandarin Chinese speaking people so it's a really meaningful song for us to cover and I hope you guys will listen to it when it's out yep by the way I'm so sorry I couldn't watch a birthday stream live you know it's, it's no problem from now onwards we're always going to have um, YouTube streams at the same timing that we used to have and Twitch streams at this timing which I think is more it's an easier timing for you guys to watch so please don't feel bad for missing any streams and I hope to see you guys lots more often in the future hmm. the album covers are so pretty thank you they're really cute and also featuring our producer bunny p hmm. a bridge between china and japan so covering songs from both is important yeah so yeah it's a really unique uh it's a really unique song in general and also like it, it's really in line with what we do so I hope you guys look forward to that Wani Wani! It's a nostalgic song! I'm looking forward to it! Thank you! Please look forward to when it comes out! Work Bunny P hard! <laughs> yeah! We gotta, you know, we gotta get our producer to do all the hard work so we can chill more <laughs> Okay, and speaking about singing, um, the time for today is almost up So I'm going to play the cover that I have prepared for this week And wow, so you guys have an exclusive listen before it's officially uploaded on YouTube But it's this song and I, I'm so grateful that you I just want to say I'm so grateful that 
you guys came and we were able to just chat and have a nice chill um, stream and yeah i i was just i guess really nervous and worried that nobody was gonna come but i'm so glad that you guys came i'm so happy and i'm so excited to, for more of these streams in the future where we can just chill and have a nice chat and i'll also be thinking of what kind of content i should do for twitch if it should be different for uh different than youtube so yeah i'm just gonna be thinking about it so for now it's going to be mostly chill kind of like chatting sessions but i definitely want to incorporate some type of content so if there's anything that you guys would like to see please reach out to me on twitter or you can always leave a comment and i will suggest it to the, th the team and i will also think it through and see on how i can expand on that thought hmm. Instead, I miss Lydia's stream. Glad I could drop by this time. Well, she's gonna be streaming, I think, next next week or next week. Yeah, so please look forward to her future streams. And yeah, we'll definitely watch you play games or just chatting with you. Thank you. I'm just really, really excited for more opportunities to connect with everyone and more opportunities to do a range of things. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna play the cover for this week and I hope you enjoy it. Kite kudasai! Please enjoy! Ai kotoba yon!
guys enjoyed that? Wow, it's it's like my first time seeing all the emotes on Twitch. It's so different to YouTube. That's so cute. Thank you, Pachi Pachi. Arigato. Gracias. Thank you. Yeah. So I had a great time today, and I can't wait for our next game together. And you guys can always chat with me on Twitter when I'm not streaming. And also, um, we sent it earlier in the chat, but uh, we also have a Discord, and you can connect with us there. Hmm. Okay then, so that's all for today, and I guess I'll see you later, alligator!